Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math problem which is t the power of 6 minus t the power of 3 which is equal to 2, find all possible value of t which satisfy the given problem. So let's go to the solution. So let's record the problem which is t is the power of 6 minus t is the power of 3 is equal to 2. So from here we can rewrite the exponent in the first term which is 6 t is the power of 6. We can write 6 as the product of 2, 3 times 2 minus t is the power of 3 which is equal to so, and then this will be from rule of exponent a the power of m times n is equal to a the power of m power of n. So depending upon this rule, we can realize this one t the power of 3 power of 2 minus t power of 3 which is equal to 2. Now, let's bring this 2 to the left hand side. So, t power of 3 power of 2 minus t power of 3 minus 2 which is equal to 0. So, now let's use substitution. So, let's y which is equal to t power of 3. So now let's substitute y in place of t power of 3 in this equation. It will be y square minus y minus 2 which is equal to 0. So as you have seen from this equation, it is a quadratic equation. So now we have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 1 and whose product is 2. So sum which is equal to minus 1 and product which is equal to minus 2. So for this case the numbers whose sum will be minus 2 and 1. And for this case also minus 2 times 1 will be minus 2. So this equation will be y square minus 1 means minus 2 times y minus sorry plus 1 times y minus minus 2 means minus 2 times 1 which is equal to 0. So from here y square minus 2y plus 1 we have 1 coefficient 1 here and we have a common term which is 1 into y minus 2 which is equal to 0. So it will be we have y in common here so let's factor out y into y minus 2 plus 1 into y minus 2 which is equal to 0. So now we have a common term which is y minus 2. So let's factor out y minus 2 and the remaining will be y plus 1 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now we have two possibilities. The first one is y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y plus 1 is equal to 0. So from here we will have y which is equal to 2 or y which is equal to minus 1. But we have y which is equal to t cubed. So for case 1 when y which is equal to 2 t square cubed which is equal to y so t cubed which is equal to 2 so multiplying both sides by 
the exponent 1 over 3 which is equal to 2 power of 1 over 3 and t will be to the power of 1 over 3 for the second case for the second case where y which is equal to minus 1 so t power of 3 which is equal to y so t power of 3 which is equal to minus 1 so let's bring this one t power of 3 minus plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from algebraic expression we can rewrite this t cubed t cubed plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from algebraic expression this is equivalent to t plus 1 times t square minus t plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from here we have t plus 1 which is equal to 0 or t square minus t plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from here we have t which is equal to minus 1 and for the second case we have a t square minus plus bt plus c which is equal to 0 so we have a which is equal to 1 b which is equal to minus 1 and c which is equal to 1 so by using a well-known quadratic formula we can find the value of t which is equal to minus t plus or minus the square root of t square minus sorry t will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times of a so t will be minus b that's minus of minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b that's minus 1 the whole square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1 divided by 2 times 1 so now t which is equal to minus 1 times 1 minus minus of minus 1 will be 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 2 which implies that t which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 3 divided by 2 so it can be written as t which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 times the square root of minus 1 so we know that the square, I, the square root of minus 1 is always i so we have 2 here then finally t will be 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 times i divided by 2 which is a complex solution so our solution for the given equation are t1 is equal to let's 2 power of 1 over 3 t2 which is equal to minus 1 and t3 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 times i divided by 2 so these are the two real solution and this one will be complex solution so you can verify by substituting the value of t into the equation which is t power of 6 minus t power of 3 which is equal to 2 so thank you very much for watching have a nice time bye bye